Welcome to an Imprica card. Welcome, my loves. This is the Star Priestess Tarot. I am Anna. I feel so blessed for your presence. <laughs> so let's do a new pick a card. And this time about how are you seen in the eyes of your guides, of your spirit team? I saw this from another reader and I loved the topic. So let's go for it. As always, we'll channel spirit and we'll do the interpretation of the energy. And we will do tarot, of course, shuffling the cards in front of the camera. Group number one, two, three. This time I'm not showing the cards because they're so beautiful at the back. I have just bought them. They're Spanish. Do not worry because I will translate it. Group number one, turquoise, turquesa. Number two, we have rhodochrosite, rhodochrosite. And group number three, we have lyrian gold tectite. Libyan gold tectite. My love's a reminder that if you want a private reading from me, you have my website down below. From time to time, I open new spots. But if you want something, it's where I go. It's how I get the donations mostly. It's Keen and Purple Garden. They are very, very good. The people that work over there. Try it out if you want through my links. I'm going to leave you to connect with your groups. And don't forget to subscribe if you like our energy. I will see you in a few moments. Welcome and love group number one. I love this topic. Uh, I hope you too. Let's see the card that has come out for you and it says Contrato, contract, pact. So this is sacred contract and number seven. Love it. Okay. There's something going on with writing and contracts. Soul contract. Okay. We're starting like very strong and we have turquoise. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it well. I know. <laughs> So it says, brilliant blue-green turquoise has been rocked by humans longer than almost anything. Okay. Um, anyone whose voice has gone owl, okay. When to use it, when you feel disconnected from the things that make you human, when, you're, when you've got something to express, get it out with turquoise. You see, so I, I, I think that... Uh, we will start by saying that uh, your spirit team, the way they see you is that you always choose like, well, I was going to say difficult. It could be, okay, it could be. But I was listening from your spirit that they see you, that you always start new contracts in each of your reincarnations and you follow it through. Okay, whatever happens, maybe sometimes you get really lost I think it happens to all of us. At a certain point, we can we can be lost, but it's a way of of yes, it's a way of evolving, right? If we find ourselves again or we discover ourselves again, so I feel that your spirit team wants to tell you that you always start from blank. You have the ability. I am listening. You have the ability, my love, of when you decide to start a fresh start with someone with a place in your life in general, with your finances, you're good at that. You're good at starting something new. You're good at following the guidelines of your contract. You always do. I'm listening. That's powerful. Okay, my loves. I am going to shuffle some, some tarot. Then we'll continue with some oracle. And we will end up with... An affirmation that could be good for you. So, could you tell us please, how do you see this beautiful soul, this magical soul? Okay. So we have the devil. <laughs> Look at that, this is so crazy. 
This is so crazy. New beginners, I was saying, right? Wow, the fool and the devil. Okay. The next one, we have the four of swords. Okay. How do you say, how do you guys see this bit of four swords, six of wands? How do you see this beautiful soul? Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I love it. I'm going to... I'm going to get a different deck to ask for advice from your spirit team as well. Okay, so could you give them please an advice with two cards? Whoops, okay. So, advice, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And another one, please. Could you tell... Okay, too many cards, please, only one more. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to put this nice. Another card, please, of advice for them. Okay, that tell me to get three. Okay, so we have here the Seven of Swords. We have here the Hermit. And we have here the Fool. <laughs> Another Fool, this is amazing. Wow, okay. Yes, it's part of your... You know, so le let's, let's leave this here. Okay, my love, so... What I can tell with the Tarot that is coming out for you with the Devil and the full how, how it doesn't matter how many people entities energies or you getting distracted or you getting lost in it, in its reincarnation you always find a way you always find your contract you always find those points that you wrote before you were born and you always have the ability However lost or however bored you are or however, I don't know, excited you are because it, it does not always have to do with something negative. You always have the ability because the fool is coming twice, right? With the advice, you have another fool. Twice the fool. So this is letting me know that your spirit team, what they love about you is that they know that you may get distracted by addictions maybe in general getting distracted but they know that and that's that's something that they love about you you always find your way home you always find your way back and you always conquer whatever challenges you go through i think that all of you guys you are and i'm feeling goosebumps this is important you are like a very very strong team together very strong team because i'm sensing like Wow, it's a very strong energy. And I feel that your guides and your masters are, are amazing at stopping demons or stopping people that tries to harm you. Have you seen like crazy stuff happening to people that wants to harm you? Have you seen that somebody that has been trying very hard to harm you? I don't know if it has, if it has happened. Uh, I don't know if it has happened in, in less than one month or in years. Something has happened to them. I really feel that your spirit team is very, very, very highly protected of you. It's like, okay, we are light beings, but don't F with us. Okay? I, I sense like warrior angel. Warrior angel, yes, warrior energy. So I feel this is you as well. It's like, I love, I really love to start something new. I love to meet new people. I love to travel to new places they love that about you is that you're open for new things you're open to learn okay i'm listening that your spirit team loves about you that you're open to learn from them and from life in general okay but i am listening it's not it's not negative <laughs> but i'm going to say but but your spirit team what i'm watching with the four of swords and the six of wands they're telling me that sometimes again sometimes uh, I think that sometimes you you 
pressure yourself too much into getting into in this position of the six of wands which there's nothing wrong about it so you have just pretty me telling me through these cards at least this is my interpretation it's telling me through these cards that you have goals right you have goals you know that you can you have a lot a great potential you know that you can manifest a lot of abundance great friends great community great lover lovers partner whatever great family they know that you know and they know that you have a great potential but many times i'm listening from your spirit team many times you don't take care well of your body of the way you eat or maybe it's the way you clean yourself energetically okay so there's something going on over there I don't know if sometimes you have so much work that you don't have enough time to clean your home correctly the way you would like to. Maybe there's something that your spirit team is telling you that always try to take a little bit of time every day to clean your home, to clean the dust, to maybe even to organize your documents, to organize your emails. I, I sense like a, like an energy of organizing and you cleaning the energy. Maybe some of you Maybe you're thinking, Anna, oh, no, really, I, I, my, my home is very tidy and clean. Then it's talking about your energy. The spirit team, they know that you are amazing at doing astral trips. Okay. You, I think that you have the ability that, tell me, yes, I think that I'm, I'm interpreting it correctly. You have the ability to connect through different realms and to travel a lot. And you really enjoy you really enjoy traveling through different dimensions. Maybe sometimes when you get back, you're very tired. That could be. That could also mean this: that when you get back to of the, of those trips, okay, even it could be trips in this dimension and in other dimensions, you get really tired. So I feel that your spirit team wants me to tell you that they love to work with you, and that I can tell. They are very protective of you. They really. They're telling me that sometimes they laugh a lot with you. When you get excited or when you are connecting with your inner child and you start to dance, to joke, I don't know, some certain comments and thoughts that you have, they laugh a lot, okay? So it's like, <laughs> all of you, like, I said, you know what they are showing me? The movie, this old movie, <laughs> remember guys? <laughs> this old movie of the Seven Brothers for Seven Sisters. <laughs> some of you do remember. I know that many of you, you're very young, you will say like, what's that? <laughs> But the ones that we are over 40 years old or maybe even 30, no? You know this movie? So that's how I sense you and your team. It's like your brothers and sisters. It's like you're on the same level of consciousness and awareness, but you are here. In you. All of you, you planned. That's the soul contract. You planned, and I'm feeling goosebumps. This is your confirmation from your spirit. You planned to be the one, to be here physically in this realm. And the rest, really, it, you're a great team. I love you guys. I love the energy. It's like, I would love to go on, <laughs> on a party with all of you. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> and this showing me, yes, red roses and white roses. I don't know if this is important for you. I don't know if you love roses, but they're showing me. Here it appears, sorry. Here it appears, yes. Uh, yes, like red roses. But I was watching white roses as well. And your spirit team wants me to tell you that you that keep going with the six of wands, the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Keep going because you're going to have way more money in the future, like you know. I think that all of you guys are going to become very rich. And I, and you know why you're going to become rich? Because it's part of your soul contract. And do you know why as well you wanted to be rich? Or you maybe it's not rich, but you wanted to have more than enough. Because you wanted to enjoy the, the pleasures of this life and you wanted to help. Because six of wands is somebody, six of wands is somebody that is highly generous. That I see your spirit team is telling me, your guides, that whenever you're asking for something, whenever you visualize yourself like getting something, you always have the second thought or the third thought of how am I going to help with this money? How What can I do with this gift? Or what can I do with this so I can help this one, this person or this group of people or humanity in general? You're very generous. Your spirit team is telling me that sometimes they get, they get emotional with you. They cry with you. Oh.
This is so interesting. Your spirit team is telling me, be careful with this. Protect yourself whenever you go to... <laughs> Sorry, okay. I know it's weird I say this, but I, I am listening that from your spirit team. Protect yourself when you go to the shower. I don't know. If some of you have roommates or little brother or sister, I see somebody looking at you when you're in the shower or in the bathroom. And if that's not somebody in this plane then it's somebody that likes you somebody that knows how to do astral projections <laughs> does it sound weird do you feel sometimes in the shower that somebody is looking at you or somebody's there it's not your imagination the spirit thing wants me to tell you oh my gosh i did not realize sorry and i continue with that message seven brothers for seven sisters <laughs> I laugh at myself. Okay, so your spirit team is telling me that sometimes there's yes, there's some somebody looking at you. Maybe you could put, if that's the case, if it's an energy, you could put tourmaline in the entrance of your bathroom or some salt in each of the corners of the bathroom because I see some somebody looking at you. Be careful, guys, whenever you go to hotels. And I was an air hostess and I went to a lot of hotels and I, I did not know this. I mean, I don't know if that happened to me. But check out, I don't know if, I suppose in YouTube there's there's videos about that. Check out videos. I, I know that in TikTok there are many videos about that and, and evidence of people recording. Check out how to check that a mirror is not double, double do you say double side? double-sided something like that like no one is at the back of that mirror looking at you you know and you're not realizing be aware i know it's weird i'm taking out this information but i don't know your spirit team is telling me that for some of you so there's something going on maybe it's not that but maybe it's like because some of you you're in the public you have like me i have this channel so i sense a lot of people looking at you so be aware the things that you show about your home you, where you live, be aware of the kind of information you give. Be careful because I sense that people get get obsessed with you. Is that true? Be careful. Not to be scared, but just be aware. Taking precautions. And the advice that your spirit team is giving you with the hermit, again, you see? So take care of your energy. Take time for yourself. I think that you're already doing this, right? And keep going, keep learning and enjoying. You will become a master in this, guys. Seven of shirts and another seven. Okay, I don't know if some of you, you were born in 77 or you're going to meet. I am from 77. Maybe this is the confirmation that this is your reading, okay? Because I'm the reader, I am going to turn 47. <laughs> uh, I don't know if some of you as well. But again, be careful with people. What type of information you're sharing? Again, I don't know if if some of you, your mothers and fathers, are you sharing too many photographs of your babies and children? Be careful, okay? I don't know. There's nothing going on like everything's going to go really well. Many of you, you're going to become a celebrity. But be careful with the type of pics, pictures, stuff that you share about your life. Be careful. The majority of people that follow you or will follow you or the, or the majority of people that it's in your life, the spirit team is telling me that they are amazing. But there's always a percentage of people that are very lost. Okay. And I, th I have the feeling that there's something in your energy. You're so beautiful, whether you're a man or a woman. You're so beautiful. You're so sexy. You're so sexual that that energy attracts people like crazy. Okay. They get very obsessed. So be careful of that. And the advice, right? Keep going. You will have many options and possibilities to try out new things. Be aware of it with the temptation, with the demon and the snake. Be aware of what type of things you try as long as you have somebody there. You, For example, ayahuasca. I have never tried it. I'm not going to try it. I know some of you, you love it. But but I'm so, I am so sensitive as a psychic medium. I had an experience with something else that was very... Maybe for some of you, it's like, well, that, that's that's not a lot of... I, I took... I'm going, to, I'm going to share this. I took a muffin with something with... I don't know if you had marijuana. And my spirit team told me, don't try it. I did not listen. Well, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All of the stuff that I saw. So in my case, I cannot have ayahuasca. I cannot have it. Because 
I am so sensitive at connecting that it's it would be very toxic for me. I know that for some for other people it's really healing. But again, if you want to try ayahuasca, I'm not saying don't do it. Do it if you are sure that that's a that's a safe place, a, a clean place, you know, and that you have somebody there looking up to you, looking up for you, not taking the medicine plants and everything. It's an example, okay? Always have somebody there that if you want to try new things that you really trust, you know? Because I know that all of you guys, you're very open-minded. You're very nice. You're very independent, but you're very social. Your spirit team is telling me. And they love it that you're so social, and they love it that you can be by yourself. But they are telling me that sometimes you trust too much certain people. I know, I understand you. Because you go with a good heart. You go with good intentions. And I think that you have learned throughout this time, right? So your spirit team is telling me that sometimes you have acted a little bit naive with certain people. Maybe this is they are talking about the past. But be aware. Be careful, okay? The majority of people always want the best for you. Like your spirit team. But, you know. Take care more of yourself because you're going to become very well known or more popular in your neighborhood, in your community. Be careful, okay? Yeah, but don't be scared. I'm listening. Don't be scared because everything is going to go really well. Nine of Pentacles. I sense that all of you or most of you, you're going to... Are, are you? Do you like to go on holidays to Greece, here to Spain or... To Latin America, South America, or something like that. Ita Italy. Oops. Because I was sensing like some of you thinking about getting a home to for your holidays for you and your friends, or maybe even retiring here or or some or a place that is similar to Spain. Okay. So we have here number 30, Mermaid with Butterflies. So your spirit team wants me to tell you that they love it, that you're so open to help. You are like, it's natural, in, it's innate in you to help. It's innate in you to try new things. It's innate in you to love to travel and to meet new people. Yes. But they want me to remind you that you're like a mermaid. What would humans do if they founded a mermaid? I don't think that all of the humans would treat very well the mermaid, right? Be aware. I just have to tell you that. Be aware. Okay? But it is true that you, go, you have gone through a very deep transformation. I even feel that many of you, you have three guardian angels, between one and three guardian angels. And you see, you're going towards success. Gold, right? Blue, throat chakra, voice, expression, communication, red chakra, grounding those manifestations, feeling grounded. And abundance, great abundance for you. And my angels are going to grab the unicorn oracle. They're so big, I don't know how to, to get these cards. Okay. Friendship, I love it. You see, it's like all of you, you are really good friends, like brothers and sisters. Seek out, you see. Seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people and spend more time socializing. You see, so your spirit team sees you like you love to socialize. You see, they see you like a very positive soul. They see you that they feel so grateful that you're part of their soul family. All of you guys, you're coming from the same soul family. Your besties, your best friends, like brothers and sisters. And they love that side of you that sometimes you're very funny and you like to enjoy. When you relax and when you're having a lot of fun, they enjoy so much with you. You are like, yes, you're like, an, you're so beautiful. I, I, I keep listening. You're so beautiful. You're so handsome. They love to be with you. They feel so blessed. We, I think that all of you guys, you love each other. This is so amazing. And I am going to grab this oracle and we will finish with the affirmation i i really love this kind of readings because i'm connecting with beautiful energies so thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you and your spirit team 
and we have an silly queen glamour opulence and ubris you see you're so sexy you're so sensual whether you're a man or a woman you are so glamorous yes you're somebody that people stare at you people stare at you people cannot uh, you're not somebody that you go into somewhere or maybe sometimes you don't feel like you want to be seen but they always look at you they always look at you. You always have somebody, at least one person, looking at you wherever you go. Even animals, children. People look at you like if you were a celebrity. Maybe some of you are already a celebrity or you're going to become a celebrity. And I feel that in many past lives, you have been a king or a queen. I don't know if some people, they call you a queen. We have the ancient, number 45. I love it, with the old. Elder experience lessons, you see. So you are very old, 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 wise and intuitive soul. You always come here with a contract, with a book, with a guideline. You always know what to do. And I feel that you always uh, release this avatar, this body. You transcend very old. Really very, very old, very old. I don't know if you have really good genetics or you're really taking care of your health or you really know by your intuition that you will leave this dimension very old. You always do or most of, or most of your lives. I really do think that in all of your lives. And we have a number 35, the life bringer, and that's you. Establishment, growth and fulfillment. You see, you always, you always are grounded, you find your way, you grow, and you fulfill your soul contract. You always do. And they love that about you, your spirit team. They really feel very blessed to be with you. Wow. And let's see what's your affirmation card for today. That was nice. I love you and your spirit team. All of you guys are amazing. And I'm listening. We love you so much. And I see them getting emotional with you. Wow. I, I normally don't see that in guys. I feel drawn to... To this one. Okay, these ones are going together. They don't want to separate, so I will get them. You see, they don't want to separate. They, want to, they don't want to separate from you. They're so in love with you. And I feel my way into faith one step at a time. Okay? I feel my way into faith one step at a time. You see, you always... You're not afraid of crossing this bridge. Many people would be afraid you're not. You're, you're such a beautiful, courageous... You take life differently. You always, it gets a point in your life that you understand, come on, I'm going to enjoy this life. Yes, I know that I'm going through challenges, but I know I can do it. I know I can do it. You always get better with that mindset and the way, yes, you, you enjoy life. You always enjoy life. And when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. Yes, you trust your spirit team. They trust you. I love you guys so much. I can tell all of you, you're very old souls. I can tell because I'm very comfortable reading your energy. Group number one. Oh my gosh. I feel so blessed that you're here. If you have liked it, of course, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. We would love to see you in the next Pick a Card. I am trying to do daily readings I have, as I have another channel. Uh, my private readings, <laughs> my personal life. I really am trying. So for now, I'm... I'm doing one per day and if you want a very economical reading and at the same time to give me a donation and at the same time you're receiving more specific details, you have the offers of Kino Purple Garden down below. So thank you so much if you're going to proceed. But if you, you prefer reading with me, you have my website as well. I love you guys so much. I feel so blessed to have been able to connect with all of you. Big hug. Bye. Welcome group number two. So let's see how your spirit team, how your guide sees you. So. The card that is coming out for you. So this is the game of the throne using carefully your power. Okay. Number eight, which this year that we are recording this speaker card is the year of the dragon and it's number eight, 2024. And your quartz 
It says, yes, it is rhodochrosite, as we said before, and it says, okay, who needs it, anyone grieving or really needing to grieve a major loss, a relationship expired, or an outdated idea of self, okay, old identity. When to use it, when your heart hurts, you can feel all the fears, even the most po painful, and still be gentle with yourself. Let rhodochrosite remind you that this too shall pass, and you, especially you, absolutely will heal and love again when you're ready. So, okay, this is already letting me know that your spirit team sees you, Yet that you have a great, a great, great ability to connect with them, with spirit. Maybe some of you, you're psychic mediums, psychics, or you're very good with tarot, receiving messages through meditations. I really see that you're highly connected to your spirit team. Uh, and they see you that you have this incredible capacity of feeling, but because you're so highly sensitive, and maybe that's why these quotes would really help you out, draw the cross side if this is making sense. Your spirit team is saying that sometimes you do you are too much into your head because you don't want to feel so much pain in your heart. I don't know if you have been going through a lot of challenges concerning relationships, loving relationships, friends, maybe even people in general. Maybe many people have hurt you in your life and in many reincarnations. This is something that it's hard for you to deal with, you know, to deal with people that do not respect your boundaries. This is something that, again, in a way, I'm listening from your spirit team and, and they really admire you for that. In a way, that has made you who you are, very strong, resilient, and always creating a great abundance in your life, always creating and attracting at a certain point in your lives, very beautiful and abundant relationships. But it is true that they are telling me right now that it is safe to fall in love again. It is safe to open again. Not to everyone, of course, but I'm listening that don't, don't try not to have that tendency of being too much into your head because we are supposed to balance our mind, soul, energy, our soul, right? And if you're still here, suppose this is making sense. I think that sometimes I am listening from your spirit team, not I think, I'm listening from them that one of the reasons that sometimes you lose money or it's difficult for you to save or it's difficult for you to get to that amount of money like you know you can or you want, you wish, you desire it's because of the relationships that are in your life or maybe the regrets or the way you feel about your past relationships if you have already done the cleaning then I feel just pretty thing wants me to tell you through this reading that they understand your pain. They understand it's not easy to deal here with certain people or with the craziness in this dimension, but you can do it. That ask them more for your for their yes, for your for their support. I am listening from the spirit thing that sometimes it's difficult for you to ask for help. And you have you have them for a reason. And I feel too, your spirit team is trying to tell me with this card as well that that sometimes when you are a king or a queen, again, this, <laughs> this came out in group number one as well, but uh, the message is different. You have been poisoned and killed many times when you had power, when you had a lot of money. That could be an issue. Again, uh, is it difficult for you to save money? Is it difficult for you to manifest more money and you want it? It's because it's coming from past life. So I feel your spirit team is trying to tell me, so I can tell you that if you're still in this paradigm of, or maybe thinking, why is this happening? It's coming from past lives and um, because of past experiences. So I am listening for very clearly from your spirit team that it's time to let go. Time to let go. Time to let go of regret. Time to let go of anger. Time to let go of 
burdens, time to let go of those toxic uh, relationships or those people that killed you in past lives. It's time to let go because you really can live such an abandoned and beautiful life. You see, Ten of Pentacles and the Sun. What they love about you is that when you're relaxed, you're somebody that when you feel safe, you're so happy. You're somebody that you really appreciate family, to be part of a tribe. You appreciate people that brings you good energy. And they love that about you. And they are, they're telling me again, you're safe to have this again. Okay, I don't know if some of you, you're divorced. Or some of you, you're going through a rough time right now. Concerning relationships. Even in connection, connecting with yourself. You're ready for this. I am, I'm listening from your spirit team that what they love about your sensitivity is that when you allow yourself to, to connect and to trust again, Wow, you bring such a beautiful high frequency to this planet. I think that I think that all of you guys, or most of you guys, you are the second wave. Like Dolores Cannon talks about star seeds, and the second wave, it's like a walking antenna. So you don't have to do even. I mean, maybe some of you you're asking yourselves, what can I do to help humanity? What can I do to be in service? In reality, you could do whatever you wanted to do. Really, even. I don't know, creating new chocolates, <laughs> creating candles, really working in a restaurant, working as a dancer, whatever. Because you just by walking into a place, to a room and listening from spirit, uh, you change the energy of the environment. You have that ability. And your spirit team is showing me that scene of Dracula, but the, the Dracula of Bram Stoker. Remember, guys, where we on a writer... I don't remember, and Ken Reeves and the other actor, I don't remember, um, sorry, but you know what, which movie I suppose most of you guys I talk about. Remember when Winona Ryder, her abilities are being activated. So I feel your spirit team wants me to tell you that they are activating you and they're, and they're getting you ready for your next phase in your life that it's going to be so happy. And I'm so happy for you. Remember when Winona Ryder to help Dracula, such a strong connection coming from past lives. Some of you, you're trying to manifest the love of your life or that beautiful soulmate or the one, it's coming, okay? Or your future spouse, it's coming, okay? Don't worry, it's coming. I keep listening. Um, remember, guys, when Winner Rider was moving, creating a storm, okay? Maybe some of you, you have the ability of telekinesis, moving the clouds, you know, some people can do it. Check out videos about that. These abilities exist. And I think that all of you, you have such incredible abilities, but sometimes to are, you're too much into your head. And that stops you to connect even deeper with your abilities, even deeper um, with the beautiful side of this life. So we know Ryder was moving was creating a storm so the sun would so the sun would not hurt Dracula. So I feel that you, I think that some people I am missing from the spirit team. If you're if you were asking yourself why some people has these weird uh, reactions with me is because they are afraid of your abilities. They are afraid of of your strong abilities. And I feel that your spirit team is a little bit different like in group number one and three. I feel your spirit team is like, it has a lot of archangels. A lot. So you must be something, somebody very important in the spirit realm. So your spirit team is telling me that when you feel safe, you are very good at manifesting. Yes, whatever. You are really good. The thing is that they are telling me to tell you that you have to practice affirmations, do a lot of guided meditations, grant yourself, do earthing without barefoot, touching the ground. You have to do more stuff to make you feel safe. And although we have to be careful in this reality, in this dimension and in others, of course, it's important that you practice, okay, feeling safe, grounded, because you can have whatever you would desire. Your spirit team is telling me that. And they're telling me that sometimes maybe they have been a little a little hard on you, but because they know that your mission is a little bit different and they know that your potential is way bigger than the media of people. Does it make sense that sometimes you feel like even your spirit team is like... 
<laughs> you know, like, I don't know if sometimes you're like, come on, guys, give me a break. Another talent. Come on, guys, another narcissist. Come on, guys, another silly guy or silly woman. <laughs> and they laugh. They laugh sometimes. But yes, they really like to work with you. They, they are telling me that you're a great student, that you listen, you know, that you're receiving their messages through songs, that... Uh, they are guiding you, you know, through a map of your dreams. I don't know if you have done yet your visualization board. They're telling me, do your visualization board. It will help you out. Scripting would help you out. Some of you, you're supposed to be writers, like in many of your past lives, or artists, or maybe you draw, or maybe some of you, you're good at fighting, okay? Maybe you're do good at judo, or boxing or maybe it's gaming don't give up I'm listening from your spirit time don't give up I don't know what they're talking about because I suppose it's different for all of you and we have the devil again we have the king of pentacles and we have the emperor you see so the reason why your challenges are way bigger than the media of people is because you you always meant for greatness you're made for greatness. And now your spirit team is showing me this series of... It's quite funny. It's like a comedy, but it's based in the Queen of Russia. The Great? Is it called The Great? Yes, the series. Check it out. <laughs> I think that it's talking about you. The Great. The greater is it called the great or the greater the series have you have you seen it some of you so you see you always meant for a something bigger bigger but again I keep listening from your spirit and sometimes you're afraid of feeling again or you're afraid of feeling too much from your heart but again they're telling me you're safe my love we're here we are here you're safe and we will send you beautiful people where you can be more yourself. Okay? That tell me that when, if sometimes you have headaches or you're too much into your head, go to the gym or go to dance or go to have a nice drink or coffee or whatever, a nice meal with your friends, okay? A nice walk with your animals, with your dog, dogs. But you can do this. With the Emperor and the King of Pentacles, I really think that all of you guys are going to be, even some of you, millionaires, really. I, I really think so. With the Emperor and the, and the King of Pentacles and the Game of the Throne. I think that you always come here in these recognitions to challenge the Matrix I'm listening. That's why the test has not been easy at all. That's why so many attacks or maybe um, temptations. Have you been going through a lot of temptations? I feel you have to take care of the people that feel envy towards you. I feel a lot of envy always around you. Too much envy. I, I recommend you look. Look what I'm. Look on what I'm wearing. I don't know if you have thought about it. Why don't you wear? If not a ne necklace, a bracelet of the eve, you know, to protect you from evil eye, from envious people. You have to, I feel that you have to, you can wear one of these and when and when it breaks, it has protected you from a series of, of people or, or from one specific situation. And the two of pentacles and the seven of swords. You see, you have to be careful of people trying to steal from you or trying to... I think that many, many people imitate you, copies you. Yes, I, I see many people... I don't know. I, 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 I really think that many people would love to be with you. I know that some, some of you are going to say like, no, I mean, really, yes. Yes. Have you noticed that there's always somebody at work or at school or at university, even it could be a family member that copies the way you dress? They buy what you buy. You have bought a purse from, imagine, Gucci, it's an example. Eh? From Gucci, the next week, somebody in your environment buys and they tell you that somebody has given them as a present that purse. 
I see always people comparing themselves with you. I see you like juggling between two things or trying to match as best as possible all, all of the challenges with high self-esteem. I love that about you. So your spirit team is telling you that you cannot hide anymore your heart. You see, you cannot hide anymore your heart and be careful with people that feel envy. And be prepared that many people are trying to copy your style, the way you you run your business, the way you manage your finances, the way you dress. I see people copying you a lot. So I think that you're going, all of you guys, you're going to become a trend. I know that. Uh, I, know, I, I am listening now from your spirit team. I look at the back, the star. You see, you always, your spirit team wants me to tell you that they really love, they really love you a lot. They see you like very special and unique. They see you that they, I, I am missing from them. They have not always worked with you in all of your incarnations. And they really feel very blessed to be able to teach you and to remind you who you are. They, they, they love you because when you are relaxed and you feel safe, you're amazing at manifesting. You're amazing again at triggering the matrix. And this reminds me of Neo. Neo was a challenger for the whole matrix, for the architect of matrix. The architect of the matrix couldn't stand Trinity and Neo and their connection. You always meant to find your love, the one. You always find the one. You always, I'm listening from your spirit team, you always find each other. And they are there to protect this connection because it's part of your soul mission to be together. Yes, there's always something that you go, you both of you, you do together. Even your children, if you're going to have children with this person, or you already have children, your children are unique, are very special. I think that all of you, you're. Uh, let me know if that, if that, if you feel like that. I feel that group number two that all of you, you, you're very, you're very special star sets. I don't think there are many star sets like you in this planet. No. I think I always in very peculiar and unique missions, but sometimes it's overwhelming for you. Your spirit team is telling me, and they understand it because you're very you're you're very straightforward and very direct and very clear crystal soul. Yes, you're here to trigger the matrix. You overcome the challenges in this game, but sometimes you don't have patience with people that are ego, selfish, bad, demon, de demonic. You cannot stand it. <laughs> Sometimes you are like, I don't have enough time for this silliness in my life. No, 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 no. You know, some people may think you're arrogant. The spirit team knows who you are. But some people, they misjudge you. They think that you are arrogant. You're not arrogant. You're intelligent way more than the media of people and you was you are very evolved <laughs> i think this is your last reincarnation this pretty is telling me that if you would like this would this would become your last reincarnation you see with the world and the page of search you always you are you are like you are like a yes a fighter with light and always with a lot of abundance you're a fighter you're a fighter and I feel that all of you, if you're not going to become celebrities worldwide, I feel that your money or your products are going to be sold in many, many countries around the world. The world also represents like ending a cycle and beginning a new cycle. I really feel that you're ending a tough cycle. You have thought very hard to clean that energy or that, or that karma or that cycle. And you begin in a new area, I'm listening, and a new trend. Again, I keep listening that you always create new trends. So people like to observe the way you do the readings. Maybe some of you, your readers, and you see how people are imitating the way you put the decoration, the way you interpret the cards or your channel. I think that's impossible to copy, right? Because all of us, we have our own style. But yes, let us shuffle some Rico. Come my loves, it's quite late. I did not realize it, it was so late. So I'm going to almost whisper. Your spirit team is very proud of you. The, many of them, they're telling me I wouldn't do it better than you. So we are very proud of you. 
but they're very strong as well. I sense like I sense like the unity of Jesus Christ, Buddha, Virgin Mary. Well, Virgin Mary, you know, maybe different a uh, Virgin de Guadalupe. I'm listening, Guadalupe Virgin. And we have here bearing fruit. You see, just pretty much telling you that by December, from here to one year, you're going to see, wow, a lot of results. And I see your ancestors. You always come here to clean generational curses and to clean a lot of trauma from ancestors. You always, again, that's why your challenges are bigger than the rest of people. But at the end, that's why your life will be different. Your spirit team is telling me to remind you that not everyone can follow your dream. You cannot diminish your light anymore. I don't think it's the case for most of you guys. But I think that you always come to the point that I'm not going, I, I don't want to diminish myself because others feel envious towards me or they don't get me. Continue. You always, you, I think that you always get to that point, right? And the next one, beyond the ordinary, you see, just pretty much telling you that, again, you see how how he's closing the heart chakra? You know that you're very special. But it's a challenge for you to open your heart again. But you always, you always overcome it. You always find a way to connect with very beautiful loving relationships. And you always find your tribe, okay? If some of you, you are feeling a little bit misunderstood, or, will you, or maybe some of you, you have amazing people in your life, but you would love to meet more people. It's coming. I'm listening from here to one year. And look at the next one, Earth Magic. Yes, I feel that, again, what did I tell you? You are like Dolores Cannon says about, you are like the second wave of star seeds. Wherever you walk, you activate the energy. You move the energy. You activate people. That's why many people are, get angry at you without no reason, or they hate you without knowing you, or they treat you, or they try to treat you really bad when you, didn't, you don't deserve it. Well, nobody deserves that, but you know what I mean? Because you move the demons that that are stick to them, you move them, you provoke them to start healing. And not everyone wants to heal. Not everyone wants to wake up. You're an adult. Yes, you naturally wake up people. And look at the next one. You see, you always, you always are meant to find the love of your life. And both of you, you are sacred. This is a sacred. A couple you always find your sacred space you always find your place because i i am listening from spirit that some of you from your spirit team that some of you you have not found it your place yet but you will i recommend you guys the video of the gem goddess i will leave the link in the description and in the comment section where you can see which points in the world it's most suitable for you for your energy and to find your tribe and even to find love for some of you and for your finances to get better because that influences as well. Okay, my angels. And, oops. And to end up the reading, I'm going to grab some unicorn oracle. You're very special. I hope you know this. Your spirit team really is very proud of you. They love you a lot. They respect you a lot. I sense a lot of respect towards you. And again, they tell me, I w we wouldn't have done it better than you. So you have to feel very happy with yourself. We are. We're very happy with you. And we understand you're in your timing. When you are ready, you will open again. Or you will love again. We understand. There's no rush. Don't pressure yourself. We are not doing it. I'm missing it. Anabandas, you see where the king of Pentecost and Anabandas, oh my god, oh my gosh, all of you guys, you're going to be so rich here, <laughs> even I'm sensing billionaires, some of you, enjoy the bounty of life, your supply is unlimited, bless, oops, sorry you guys, bless, if that's not a confirmation, I was moving the light and suddenly we saw darkness, I was in dark, you see, blessings are coming to you. So maybe some of you, you're coming out of a dark place or you have been feeling a little bit uh, sad. Like, oh my gosh, is this going to change? Yes. Yes, it will. Keep going. Celebration. You see, your spirit team and you, you're going to, you always celebrate. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. You see, you're going towards a better future. Nature and imagination. 
So we have envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Again, what did I tell you before? I was listening from your spirit team. Dream bigger. Don't be afraid to dream. Not everyone can follow your dream. Okay, and believe in unlimited possibilities, so they are helping you with that. And nature, yes, I think that you have a lot of nature guides with you as well. Okay, and the green, it's the heart chakra, right? So we have ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elements, okay? Beautiful. I love you and the spirit team. My angels, what a blessing to connect with all of you. If, if you have liked it and if you want to get daily messages from this channel i have just started i'm trying because i have another channel and the family readings are my life <laughs> what can i say but i am very happy i am trying and i'm enjoying it so thank you so much guys for being here if you want a very economical and private reading you have the incredible offers of keen and purple garden down below and if you want a private reading from me it's more expensive but if you can pay it and if if you like my energy you have my website down below that i open spots from time to time my angels mwah, lots of kisses a lot of beautiful energy for your beautiful heart Bye. welcome group number three so let's see how your spirit team sees you sorry i was putting some cream before i start <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, laughing at myself. And your spirit team was telling me about you already. I was channeling that they, lo they love the way you smile, they, wo they love the way you laugh, and they love your humor. They really like the way you think or the way you perceive life. It's really unique. They are telling me to tell you, yes. And, and they want me to tell you that part of your spirit team, of your guides, are family members from past lives, okay? <laughs> I love it. And they're showing me Marilyn Monroe. Do you think your last, your last life you met Marilyn Monroe, you were in that period of time? I don't know, they were telling me that with the blonde, blondie, I'm listening, the singer blondie. Okay, interesting. I think that your spirit team is talking to you a lot through your songs. And the card that it's coming out, I, I felt the call to get this one, it's a 12, okay? And this is talking about like the... the the treasure of the dragon and this is says proteger el futuro protect the future you see the keys and the dragon so i feel that your spirit team wants me to tell you that this year of the dragon it's very important for you and do not worry if you're going to see this written in a different year again this year it's going to be very important for you and for your future and i love it i did not know these quotes but when i chose the card i felt really attracted to it to it and it says libyan gold tectite and it says let me focus better okay the naval gazing and brought in bridge watchers anyone looking to hit the street with some extra sugar cancers uh, 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 want to use it when you get up and go and go has ghosted you okay i don't know if sometimes people has ghosted you it could be but do you know why i feel more this i think that all of you guys you have the ability to see ghosts to see orbits to see orbits to see light and to see darkness i feel that you're not afraid you understand the duality of this dimension you understand that sometimes you're going to perceive ghosts or you're going to perceive even not only your spirit team but maybe guides from other people i think that all of you w could become great mediums if i don't know if some of you you maybe you're professional mediums or you're not all mediums and uh, yes i think that you would be a uh, you would be amazing with tarot as well okay well, do you know what i feel from the spirit team they they, they tell me that you're somebody very warm that that Maybe you're, you, uh, they're telling me that you have this ability when you meet somebody that it's very close or it's not passing through a good moment, you don't have the ability to make them feel, feel very comfortable. You have the ability of, of strangers opening up to you, trusting you without knowing you barely. Because although some people are very close, they can sense they can trust you. So your spirit, spirit team wants me to tell you that they're, they're so proud of you that you have gotten to that point. You see that you always have the keys. You always find a way to, to go deeper with any type of energy that you encounter with. You have the ability to see. 
Do you have the, the ability to see? And it's important for you to be happy where you live, okay? I think that most of you, you would be better in a place w w that it's warmer. I'm not saying that maybe some of you, you like rain, and maybe some of you, you, you love to, to live in a place that it's maybe it gets darker in some some countries before others or it's colder or it has four seasons but i feel that your spirit team is telling me that it's good for you to take sun to take sun coats to say because they're telling me that i think that you're here to activate and to protect the future of the of planet of mother gaia yeah you have the keys to something you have a very a special ability to to transfer light codes to cha I am listening even to channel light language. Do you feel attracted to light language? You would be amazing with light language. And with the dragon I feel that you your spirit team, part of your spirit team, there are dragons. Not only one. I'm listening between none of one and three. Okay, that was quick. So we have here the tower and the lovers. You see, your spirit team is telling me that what they love about you is that whoever you encounter yourself, even the most difficult narcissist in this world, you always, you always, it's not that you're manipulating people, and maybe you could, because you could, would be good with that, but that's not, I don't feel that. It's like, you know how to handle good complicated people complicated situations yeah you're very good at it look at here the tower and, and the witch is smiling you see it's like this is nothing for me you know so your spirit team loves the way you handle things loves how you trust them how you trust your destiny how you always trust they love it they love it. They love how confident you are. They love it that you're such a loving and beautiful soul. You know? They love it that you always do your work, your homework. You always go through your shadow work. They love it that you're a light worker and a shadow worker. I feel that, again, that you always get to... You master duality. You always master duality. That's telling me to tell you. You know, you try to see the bright side of everything. Maybe in the past you were not like that, but you always evolve into that identity of, okay, I want to see the glass half full instead of half empty. No, maybe in the past that was not, that was not working for me. I want to really expect the best of people. And if somebody is not behaving, then, okay, I will leave. It's fine, but without resentments or getting angry. You know, it's like you are, you don't complicate yourself anymore. You don't complicate others and you don't complicate your spirit team and they don't complicate you. It's like, you know, you get disappointed in you like the dragon, you know how to flow, right? How to move the wings so you're balanced in the air, right? I see you like, huh? Oh, like a butterfly. I don't know if you see a lot of butterflies. I think it's your spirit team communicating with you. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, just see. I think that your spirit team sees you like you're very courageous. You're very brave. You're not scared of challenges. You're not scared. They like it. And they're telling me too that you're very connected with your inner child. And you love it. You love it sometimes to do f silly things. Sometimes to laugh like crazy, sometimes to laugh with your friends, like, I don't know, like with, yes, so you're very serious for certain things and you're very, like a little girl, like a little boy and other stuff. And they love that about you, you know, that duality, like very, very mature and very childish sometimes. And they love that you always look younger. I don't know, I'm listening. <laughs> but then we have the two of wands. You see, you're not afraid of sometimes stopping. They love that about you as well. You're not afraid of stopping and planning and then moving on. You know when to stop and you know when to fly. You know, again, you're like a dragon. You know when to rest because you truly always... Again, they're telling me that you always go through an evolution. In the beginning, you're awakening. You know that you're different, but you don't still know yet all of the information. You always receive the information. You connect with your spirit team. You trust them. You have more and more faith. You feel grateful. You know, you always go through those 
through those stages and and they trust you. I, I sense your spirit team really trusts you. You know, they know that you you make you make it down. If you have to do if you have to do something, you always you always do it. There are no there are no excuses, you, and they love to uh, again. I, I, they are not telling me anything negative about you. <laughs> are you perfect? And they're telling me that. Oh, sorry, I lost it. I lost it. Okay, I continue. Sorry, I lost it. So we have the chariot. You see, you are like a wanderer. You are like a nomad. You like to travel. You like to move. Maybe you have moved many times. Maybe you're somebody that you feel bored if you're staying. I mean, you're not like, I don't feel at least maybe I'm wrong about some of you. But from your spirit team, I don't feel like you're somebody that you would live in the same city, not traveling, never traveling and doing the same thing every day. That would kill your spirit. I am listening from your spirit team. So I am listening to that. They always help you. They, whenever you, you need something, it always appears in your life. Okay. There's options. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the five of cups. We have the two of swords and the 10 of wands. So your spirit team wants me to tell you that sometimes Sometimes you have the tendency of trying to save the whole world. And uh, um, again, they see that you have, <laughs> you'll be always becoming very big, very big with your abilities, with your light, with your wisdom, with everything. But a reminder, you cannot save everyone. <laughs> I don't know if you have the tendency you want to help everyone here <laughs> because you're so, such a lovely soul, you know? But again, it's part of your path. You always try to save everyone, but you, you understand in your path that not everyone wants to be saved. Some people want to remain like this with all of these burdens for the rest of their life, and you have to respect it. And others, they don't want to see. Sometimes they get it done, and others know. You know, it's like it, it gets a moment in your life that you respect the timing of everyone. Although it really hurts you to see people suffering, you understand that you cannot force people to awaken. You're good at overcoming sadness, overcoming anger, overcoming... I, I see you like a very... Um, just pretty is telling me that you're like somebody, for example, I know that some people are more intelligent than the media people. Maybe this is the case of all of you guys, that you have a, a high, I don't know how to say it in English, but a high score in, concerning intelligence or emotional intelligence. And they're showing me like, you're like a student at in the spiritual university, like you always, they always advance you two or three courses because you're a quick learner. And sometimes it's difficult for you to be, leave behind people that it's very difficult for them to overcome these challenges or to learn from spirit. I suppose you are right now in that moment, are you? Group number three. Like maybe in the past you always tried to help everyone and sometimes that brought you a lot of problems, maybe. Okay. And we have initiate, curiosity, open, warm, add and touch, recovery, comeback and revival. You see, I sense that you're very good at helping people to recover. You are very good at recovering. What did I tell you? Recovery, comeback and revival. You are very good at recovering. Very good. That's not, you're not from the media of people in that sense. And initiate, you see. Uh, they're, they're t telling me through this reading that you are ready for something new, for something different, and you sense it in your gut, you sense it in your energy, in your body. You sense it that something new is just about to happen in your life. Curiosity, open and warm. You see, what did that tell you? They see you that you're very warm, that you're very open to their messages, you trust them, and that you're very curious about your spirit team. Yes, very nice. I love it. Okay, my loves. Okay, my loves. I have such a strong voice. It's so late. I am recording very late. These are in Spanish, but let's see what comes out. Satisfaction with number 43. So this is creating your own happiness. 
whatever circumstances and challenges you're going through. Again, what did I tell you? Your spirit team loves you because whatever challenge you go through, you know you will overcome it easily. It gets easier for you always. Okay. And 33, which is a master number, I want to be queen. It's again, the, the same concept of queen is, is coming in the three groups. So funny. So this is declaring your sovereignty, affirming your liberty, your freedom, and pasar una prueba, and overcoming your challenges, overcoming, yes, or overcoming the tests. You see, you're like, I know I can do this. You know, they love that about you. They love that, that about you. The, that maybe many people get stuck in the idea that life stinks and you're like, no, nah, I'm not going. I don't know. Maybe in the past you were not like that, but I see you right now, like evolving really quickly, you know? And to end up the reading, and I forgot the affirmation card in group numbers in group number two, I will do it here. So we have flow, of course, that's you. Sanctuary, you are like a sanctuary, of course you are, and past lives, yes. I think that Akashic Records, it's so strongly linked to you. Maybe some of you, you have the ability to connect with past lives from, not only for yourself, but for other people, for your clients, some of you. So flow find an easier path forward you always find an easier path forward as i was telling him surrender the outcome release your expectations you see you always find a way to flow with your spirit team they love that about you what i was saying about the dragon and i was moving the hands like this i don't know if you dance like that as well you are very sensual but i was you flow you flow you right now you don't okay now i cannot work okay what can i do I'm not going to get angry. Okay, now I can work. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be very productive. You know, it's like you flow. You flow with the universe. You flow with the spirit team. And they love that about you. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on retreat. I think that the spirit team wants me to tell all of you guys that if you went to a spiritual retreat or you created a spiritual retreat or sort of a sanctuary, or maybe some of you guys you are working... Um, offering services uh, like um, related with spirituality, you always help people to feel safe. You always help people to heal. I think that you're natural healers. And past lives, release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom, as only you are. And healing your past lives will raise your vibration. And you have been doing your work in all of your past lives. I really feel that I don't feel more karma coming in the future. Maybe maybe some tests are going to come through because they are preparing you for certain tasks or opportunities in the future. And let's go with your affirmation cards. I love this. I, I, I really, I am enjoying a lot of the reading of today. Let me know, guys, if you like me to do this type of reading so I do more like this. And we have two. Okay, nice. So it says, this is your affirmations for today. When I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, you see your spirit team sees you totally aligned with them. I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know when or how it will happen. You see, you flow. You don't control anymore. You don't con you're not a controller. You flow. And you know that's the best. Uh, that that's good for you. I mean, and... Um, when I emerge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. Again, you see, you are not controlling like many people they try to control. No, you're not. Your base is not fear. You always get to a point. The spirit team loves that about you, that you always fight for your dreams. You fight for yourself. You fight for others. You're not a fighter. You're not afraid of dreaming big. You're not afraid of, ex of expecting more in life. You like that? Yes. Oh my gosh. Do you feel a connection with the giants or Anunnaki? I'm not sure. There's something going on over there. Group number three. I have loved so much this reading. I hope you too. Again, I'm uploading daily. This 
two last days I have been uploading quite late because I had to do stuff during the day but I will try to upload sooner don't worry guys I love you guys so much if you want a private reading very economical and it's a way I receive a donation and it's a way you you receive more specific readings readings <laughs> yes reading <laughs> private reading and more specific information you have keen and purple garden down below thank you so much if you're going to proceed and if you want a reading from me you have my website I love you guys so much <laughs> you're doing amazing hi my angels bye